And for more on this, let's turn to our sports director, Adam Bjarnson, on the impact that current NWSL players, including a handful of thorns, had in this big decision, Adam. Yeah, and you guys know this, that social media can be used certainly as a vehicle for change, and we did see that earlier today. It sounds like uh, that may have forced team owner Merritt Paulson's hand in getting Wilkinson placed on leave. Megan Klingenberg tweeted out a statement on behalf of Thorns players demanding what they wanted to see immediately. Number one was to have Wilkinson placed on leave while the investigation continues. And once they did take the field tonight, pretty powerful show of solidarity as both the Thorns and members from the Houston Dash, even the game officials there, uh, we're standing at midfield, standing together, calling for systemic change within the league. Afterward, all the talk was about just that. And we have to be honest in reflection and learning, um, but we have, to, we have to make sure, and I, we, I think everyone keeps saying we, uh, everyone in any position of leadership has to work to make sure that players are safe. Parsons added after the game that his team still planned to take the field, even if that first demand in removing Wilkinson wasn't met. But uh, these are voices that need to be heard and supported. And tonight was a good start for that. We're going to hear from some of the players coming up a little later in sports, guys.